Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new uh, Uribe card to review today. So, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot tall, high, high work rates, right footed, three star skills, four star weak foot. So, right off the bat, guys, he already has meta characteristics, right? In this game, it's very important to have midfielders that either have uh, a high medium, a high high, or a medium high work rate when playing in that midfield position. So a card like this, you could already play as one of your center defensive mids, or you could play him as one of your center mids, depending on how you want to line up the team. With Uribe, guys, I am very familiar with this card because as you guys know, for the Road to Glory account, we were using this bad boy right here. We were using the rare gold version. And the rare gold version, guys, on a shadow chemistry style was really, really good. I, I actually think that i tweeted it out one time where i was like this card has so much potential because he has all the base mechanics right the four star weak foot the high high work rates 93 stamina right with this card and its improvements on a shadow chemistry style he looks really good in all the areas of the card which is awesome right so uh with this card and obviously a big thing with him is the link you can work with when it comes to the uh manafa card you can link with the corona cards so that right side is pretty much sorted and Honestly, I might actually have to start playing my main account again because this card I was definitely looking forward to. Uh, it was this and a Quadejma card, but uh, you know the vibes with that. Um, okay, so with this card, right, looks really, really good. He's going to have 91 acceleration, 91 sprint speed in the midfield position for us. The base card stats for shooting as a midfielder definitely set up really nicely with the high, high work rates. Uh, base card stats for passing for short and long passing, pretty decent for a midfielder as well. Dribbling for a midfielder set up really nicely too with... A lean body type okay so he has a lean body type which is very very nice to work with the dribbling stats uh defensive stats with a shadow chemistry style it's only going to be 88 defensive awareness but again when you have the high high work rates usually not that big of a deal when everything else is in the high 90s mid 90s uh and then last but not least he even has good physical stats right so he's 84 for strength 82 for aggression and then 97 for stamina so um if you guys are wondering why i'm talking a little different it is because i am sick i mentioned in the uh in the uh, SBC review as well, so just to let you guys know, okay? Uh, but uh, I have to fast build up forward runs. Okay, so I'm going to copy this team because he might use this afterwards. So let me just copy this and do my own tactic. Okay, guys, so in game, we're going to line up like this, right? We're going to use these custom tactics, the same 442 that I showed you guys um, in the tactics review. Uh, just for the sake of the review, we'll just put pressure on heavy touch just to get the ball back quicker. Uh, we'll be using him in that right center mid area. Again, these are aggressive tactics with a forward run. So you kind of test out that attacking AI out of the player, especially with the high, high work rates. And you're also going to test him out defensively because he is on cover center, stay back while attacking. So uh, yeah, we'll try him out. Hopefully he is a beast. Good. Body to body was sick there. pass and work some space here in the middle I'm gonna force that there a little fake shot law pass hit the pass off Ooh, almost let's switch off him just to see what his track back is like again so you could see the high high work rates guys he does track back very very quickly that was a fantastic pass pass again Oh, it is Everton, so I don't expect his first time passes to be crazy. Uribe already with a defensive play. Ball roll, pass off. Oh, Everton is a striker. is not crazy. <laughs> you know what's good is that the way that his uh, dribbling stats are set up with the lean body type is going to be sick to work with. I do like that a lot. Yeah, his track back is super quick, man. Let me switch off him again here. Yeah, tracking was great there, too. This is going to be a good card, I think, man. Like I said, uh, his non-rare card, guys, I was like, this card has so much potential. It's insane. I'm going to make this pass here. He gets involved, too, man. I like it. Almost. Where's he going to be positioned here? I'm still going to get that. Oh, I tried to hit like a quick dribble downwards, but it didn't register that properly. It was weird. 
Well done, man. That pressure tactic with him is going to be sick to work with. That was good. All of that was really good with him, to be honest. Driven pass co controls it really well. Offers himself on the attack as much as possible. Are we going to score this? No. Manual heading, man. He tried to go for a regular strike there, but... Yeah, quick dribbles after that. Ronaldo chop. That was nice. Yeah, it's quick, sharp touches, man. Very sharp touches. Over here, we're going to have one player committing on the attack. Ball roll. Offers himself well for the attack. Nice, Oribe. Let's go, baby. Almost, almost got that. The pressure is good, though. Nice. Very, very good there. Pass off here. Pass wasn't... Well, the pass was fantastic. Like, obviously, if Conte's standing there, he's going to get that. Track back was fantastic right there with the high, high work rates. You see him actually going inside the 18-yard box right there. Nice first-time pass. There we go. We'll take that. Good finish. Good finish. Let's go with the reach, Mateus. Mateus. I'm going to commit him here, actually. Pass off. Beauty. Oh, get it. Love it. He's going to do pressure, so I'm going to do this. No, that delay was insane there, man. You guys can actually check my controller for that, too, if you want. Oh, the reaches, man. He actually goes for them. That's sick. Oh, that's just the game being weird, man. 100% the game being weird. I should have uh, dribbled quickly there with the left stick, but he did well. Oh, we still get it. Nice. Good pass by Kamavinga. The shot was actually great. It was just blocked, right? But obviously working with that weak foot is fantastic. Oh, I had to try that, bro. I had to try that in the air. Don't worry, my boy Mateus has it. He has it, my boy. Oh, the touch I did not expect. I'll be honest with you, I did not expect a touch, dude. That was so random. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mateo Soribe with a fantastic pass. Yeah, he's uh, he's enjoyable to use, guys. I like him. Very, very enjoyable. I had a feeling, like I said, because his non-rare had, had the right stuff, dude. Little green time shot. Ooh. Why not, right? Now we'll just collect that real quick. His passes are actually super accurate. No. Hey, man, Kamavinga got that ball, but Oribe was on it, man. He was on it. Lagrand switch with the weak foot. Oh, look at that for a pass. That's a beauty. Yep. The transition speed. Defending's coming off really nicely for him. Lagrand switch again with a good pass. There we go.
Oh, I went for the near post there. They, I, you know what? I hope they do like um, a patch in the future where you can actually finesse shot it and it'll actually be consistently a goal right there. It really should be a goal. You work the space well enough, I think. Nice. Wasn't even controlling him there. I was just doing a little bit of second man press at the end, but he still got it well. Oh, white time shot. That's weird. I, I honestly thought that I hit that uh, pretty early and it was actually late. Wow. See right there in that situation, you let go and then you second man press immediately. Pretty helpful to do, actually. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Mateus Uribe gameplay objective card. So we gave him a shadow chemistry style to boost his pace and defending as much as possible while working with good shooting, passing, physicality and dribbling stats. Now, with the two chemistry styles, you can totally give them an engine if you want, if that fits your play style more. Um, I know that Nick usually gives some of his high, high work rate of players an engine, and that's obviously not a bad choice because AI-wise, right, when you're working with 97 stamina, a person that pushes forward and comes back equally because of the high, high work rates, it's fantastic to work with. For me, I prefer the AI to be as good as possible in the pace department, so that's why I like to give them the acceleration and sprint speed to kind of get into those positions quick enough because... I feel like for a midfielder, his dribbling stats are good enough, considering the fact that he also has a lean body type, right? So it's great to work with. I like to t test out the touch and go movement as much as possible with these cards, and he's obviously very good at doing that. So, you know, if you line him up in a 4-2-3-1, a 4-4-2, he's going to play really well in those two midfield setups. But even if you want to play him in a three midfield setup, right, and you want to play him as a left center mid or right center mid, you'll have a very well-rounded card in that area to work with. It's going to definitely be a card that I would mostly use as a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-4-2 player or even like a 4-2 player in that midfield setup, but it is possible to use them in that three midfield setup if you actually want to work with that. So guys, on a shadow chemistry style, for me personally, this card is awesome to work with. Um, again, with the Porto links, you know, the fact that we have Corona, Manafa, I can get a nice little triple link upgrade on that right side, no problem, and just work with that. It's really, really sick. Um, I know that Corona's price, I think, went up, but he actually might have gone down again. Let me see. 59.5k. So, yeah, he blew up initially to 70k, and then he just dropped really, really quickly. But with all these uh, Portuguese players that we have here as well, definitely going to be very cool to work with. I'll see if I can get the Rafa review out for you guys, because I do feel awful right now, to be honest. Like, uh, I had to do this outro like four different times, because I always felt like, you know... Uh, but yeah, on a Shadow Chemistry style, guys, it's definitely a card worth getting, especially if you want to work with that link in your team. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. I'm very happy that they released him, him as a gameplay objective for sure. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.